Imagine a world where ants turn themselves into living, breathing food storage jars. Sounds strange and unbelievable, but in the remarkable world of nature, anything is possible. Today, we're diving into the lives of one of the most extraordinary types of ants on the planet, honeypot ants. These fascinating insects have evolved almost magically, transforming certain colony members into what can only be described as nature's living food pantries. Welcome to the story of animals. Prepare to be amazed as we uncover how these ants thrive in some of the harshest environments on Earth by turning themselves into literal vessels of survival. So, what exactly are honeypot ants, and how are they different from the ants we see scurrying around our backyards? Honeypot ants, scientifically known as Myrmecocystis, are a unique species of ants that live primarily in arid, desert-like environments. They are most commonly found in the deserts of Australia, the southwestern United States, and parts of Mexico. But what makes them so special? Well, unlike other ants that might store food in tunnels or chambers, honeypot ants have developed a far more unusual and fascinating method. They've turned their very own bodies into storage vessels. These ants store food, not in a physical pantry, but in their own swollen abdomens. This adaptation allows the entire colony to survive during long periods when food and water are scarce, an essential survival technique in the harsh, dry environments they call home. Now, let's meet the stars of the honeypot ant colony, the repletes. These specialized ants are the colony's living food storage units. Their role is unique and absolutely crucial to the survival of the colony. The repletes' main job is to store food by filling their bellies until their abdomens swell to enormous sizes. When worker ants forage for nectar, honeydew, and other sweet liquids, they bring it back to the colony and feed it to these repletes. As the repletes consume the food, their abdomens expand, stretching to the point where they resemble little golden droplets or living pots of honey. The process of transforming into a living food storage container isn't easy. These repletes can swell to hold several times their body weight in food, and their stretched abdomens turn translucent, showing the liquid stored inside. It's an incredible sight. You can literally see the stored nectar or honeydew glistening inside them, which is why they're often compared to jars of honey. But how does the colony tap into this living food pantry when it's time to eat? This is where things get even more fascinating. When resources run low or the colony is experiencing drought or food scarcity, worker ants will gently stimulate the repletes. This prompts them to regurgitate the stored nectar or other liquids, providing a much-needed meal to the rest of the colony. This process, called trophallaxis, is a method of food sharing that allows the entire colony to benefit from the repletes stored food. It's a bit like having a fridge that can pour out food on demand. The worker ants, young ants, and even the queen can access this food source when needed, thanks to these remarkable repletes. This system of storing and sharing food is critical to their survival in desert environments, where meals can be few and far between. You might be wondering why honeypot ants need such an unusual adaptation in the first place. It's all about survival in the unforgiving desert. 
In these arid landscapes, food and water aren't always available. But honeypot ants have found a way to overcome this by creating a living food reserve during times of abundance. When the weather is favorable, worker ants forage as much as possible, bringing back liquid foods like nectar, honeydew, and sap. These are then stored in the repletes. When dry seasons hit and resources become scarce, the colony doesn't have to panic. Instead, they can rely on the reserves stored within their own members. This extraordinary strategy allows them to outlast long periods of drought, keeping the entire colony fed and hydrated. It's a beautiful example of how species can adapt to even the most extreme conditions. Honeypot ants, like other ants, have a highly organized social structure. The queen is at the very top, and her main role is to reproduce and ensure the growth of the colony. Beneath her, the worker ants take on a variety of tasks, such as foraging for food, caring for the young, and maintaining the nest. And, of course, the repletes play their critical role as the colony's food storage system. Each ant in the colony has a specific job, and they work in perfect harmony to keep everything running smoothly. The workers gather food and take care of the queen, while the repletes make sure that there's always a supply of nourishment available. It's a well-oiled machine of cooperation and survival. These ants aren't just remarkable to the animal world. They've also captured the attention of humans. For centuries, indigenous peoples in Australia have harvested honeypot ants as a source of natural sweetness. The swollen abdomens of the repletes, filled with sugary liquid, are seen as a delicacy and are enjoyed as a natural treat. This practice highlights the deep connection between nature and human culture, as people have found ways to use the gifts of these tiny creatures for nourishment. Honeypot ants are living proof that survival in the wild can lead to some truly incredible adaptations. From their swollen, nectar-filled bellies to their unique role in their colonies, these ants are nothing short of nature's wonders. If you've enjoyed learning about them and want to explore even more fascinating creatures, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on more incredible insect stories right here to the story of animals. Until next time, keep discovering the hidden wonders of the insect world. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution.